In this video, we will learn about strings in R programming language. Any value that is written within two single or double quotes is known as a string. For example, hello is written inside a double quote and it is a string and also this hello is written inside single, single quotes and this is also a string. Quotations cannot be mixed. If a string is beginning with a double quote, then it will also end with a double quote. If a string is beginning with a single quote, it will also end with a single quote. Examples of valid and invalid strings are This is a valid string because the starting and ending quotes are same. This is also a valid string. This string has a single quote inside the double quotes, so this is also valid. Below is an example of invalid string. This is starting with a single quote but ending with a double quote, so this is an invalid string. Similarly, there is a double quote inside these double quotes, so this is also an invalid string. And following are also the examples of invalid string. Now we'll practically see how to create and manipulate strings in our programming language. In the first line, we have written a variable c and we have assigned a value that is of type string to this. So this is a string in which which is beginning with double quotes and ending with double quotes but we have a single quote inside this. So this is a valid string. When we try to print this, this will print as it is. In the next line we have declared a variable d and we have given a value that is inside single quotes but we have a double quote inside the single quotes. So this is also a valid string. When we try to run this, this will execute normally. These are invalid strings. When we try to run this, this will not print anything because the string is beginning with single quote and ending with double quote. After that, we have another invalid string that is starting with single quote, ending also with single quote, but we have a single quote inside this. So this much is a single string, then this portion will cause an error. So when we try to run this, there will be an error in this. After that, we'll try to manipulate some strings here. First, let us clear the console. We'll go to edit and then clear console. Now we'll try to do some manipulations on the string. Here we have created a string ABC with value hello man. After that, we have created another string DEF with value how. And after that, we have created another string with value HIJ. And after that, we have created another string HIJ with value how are you feeling. After that, we have used a print function and inside that we have used a paste function which is having all three values as a parameter. So when we try to run this, we'll get hello man, how are you? This is a string that is concatenated. After that, when we try to run this function, this will give hyphen as a separator between both the strings. So this is the first string. So it is printed like this only. Between the first string and the second string, there is a separator that is hyphen. And between the second string as well as the third string, there is a separator hyphen. After that, this function will remove the spaces between second and third and first and second string. Like, hello man is the first string. Between the first and second string, there is no space. And between the second string and third string, again there is no space because we have used collapse parameter of this paste function. This will remove the space between the adjacent strings. This is how you can use strings in your programs. Thank you.